Hello po! For today, we will be calculating speed, distance, and time. So, this is for Math 6, Quarter 3, Week 5, Lesson. For our review, uh, let's check this conversion. So, units of time, we have 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds, right? 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. And then, one day is equal to 24 hours. One week is equal to 7 days. One month is equal to 4 weeks, okay, average. And then, one year is equal to 12 months. For metric conversions, we have 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters and 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. For standard conversions, we have 1 foot is equal to 12 inches, 1 yard is equal to 3 feet, and 1 yard is equal to 36 inches as well. And then 1 mile is equal to 1,760 yards. So, more or less, ito po yung mga common conversions na kailangan natin malaman um, in solving for problems regarding speed, distance, and time. Alright, so introduction of the topic. There, you have a car there. And it says here, a car is traveling at 60 kilometers per hour. So, ibig sabihin, yung speed niya or kung gaano siya kabilis tumakbo ay 60 kph or 60 kilometers per hour. Now, paano natin ito um, i, um, i describe yung speed? Okay? Speed is actually... Um, Described as the scalar or a scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. Pag sinabing scalar, yun yung a e, measure mo lang is the magnitude, kung gaano kabilis, kung gaano kalaki, kung gaano kahaba. Yun ibig sabihin ng scalar quantity. So, a speed is a scalar quantity kasi pag meron ng direction, iba na yun. Okay? Uh, that's velocity already. So, we will not concentrate on that. We will just be concentrating on speed. And it can be thought of as the rate at which an object covers distance. Another one is average speed. It is the measure of the distance traveled in a given period of time. Average speed is sometimes referred to as the ratio of distance and time. So with average speed, okay, may given distance na na-travel at a certain period of time. So, kapag kinumpute mo na yon, lalabas na yung average speed. Pero, yung formula for finding the speed and average speed is pareho lang din. Okay? Maliban lang kung may direction na iba na yon. Okay? So, speed, average speed, computation is pareho lang. And then, distance is the total length between two positions or location. And then, time is the measure during which an action, process, or condition exists or continues in a period of units. So, in a period of unit, pwedeng um, minutes, pwedeng hours, pwedeng weeks, okay? And then, distance, total length between two locations or two positions. So, for example, um, the location mo is 7th Avenue and then i uh, from 7th Avenue to Monumento, Okay, that's two locations na and the distance between the two. Yun na yung ibig sabihin dito when you talk about positions, two positions or locations. Alright? Okay, let's have the relationship. Ano ba relationship ng speed, distance, and time? So, paano natin um, i-compare yung tatlo? So, let's take... Uh, Let's take, for example, the speed earlier, which is 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, compare natin siya with time and distance. So, kapag sinabing 60 kilometers per hour, ibig sabihin sa isang oras, 60 kilometers ang uh, nata-travel ng car. Okay? Kung dalawang oras, edi 120, di ba? Tatlong oras, ay 180 kilometers. Kung apat na oras ang travel ng car, that would be 240 kilometers. Kung 10 oras na, eh, di 600, di ba? Ita times mo lang yung 6 a 60 with the number of hours. Now, um, compare natin distance and time with speed. 
So, if you have here 60 kilometers one hour, you have 60 kilometers per hour na speed. And then 120, 2, you have 60. 180 and 3, balik ka sa 60. 240 and 4, balik sa 60. 610, balik sa 60. So, ibig sabihin lang, to get speed, divide mo lang yung distance with time. Ayan, o, para ka lang nag-divide. 60 divided by 160. Bumabalik ka sa 60 kilometers per hour for the speed. And then, 120 divided by 2, 60 din. So, to compute for speed, okay, you just need to divide distance with time. So, speed is equal to distance over time. Now, ngayon naman, compare natin ang distance with um, speed at saka time. Okay, so, for speed, it's 60, and then 1, you have 60. 60 and 2, you have 120. 60 and 3, you have 180. 60 and 4, you have 240. 60 and 10, you have 600. So, ibig sabihin, para makuha yung distance, i-multiply mo siya. Ayan, o, oh, para kang na-multiply. 60 times 2, 120. 60 times 3, 180. So, i-multiply mo lang siya, and you get the distance. So, ang formula for distance ay speed times the time. Yun lang. So, ngayon, compare natin ang sa time. So, if you have 60 and 60, isang oras. 120 and 60, dalawang oras. 180 and 60, tatlong oras. 240 and 60, apat. 660, sampo. So, to get the time, okay, makikita mo na nag-divide ka lang, di ba? Nag-divide ka lang ng 60, dinivide mo sa speed. Ayan, makukuha mo na yung 1. Uh, 180 divided by 60, makukuha mo yung 3 hours. So, to get the time, divide mo yung distance with speed. So, time is equal to distance over speed. Now, para hindi mahirap uh, tandaan ang formula na ito, okay, pwede mo gamitin ang DST triangle. So, with the DST triangle, mapapadali ang pag-solve mo. Now, paano mo uh, maalaala or, or uh, paano mo ma-retain kung saan ilagay ang D, S, at saka T? E di, alphabetized lang kasi to. So, just follow um, the, the sequence in the alphabet. So, D comes first with S at saka T. And then, ang S naman ay nauna sa T. Kaya, D, S, T. So, hindi ka ma mahihirapan i-arrange ang mga letters na yan. If ever, magsasolve ka, and then, ilagay mo lang siya sa papel. Okay? So, kung sakali, magsasolve ka ng speed, edi eh, takpan mo lang ito. Takpan ang S. So, ang matira ngayon is D over T. So, ito na yung formula natin. So, S is equal to D over T. At kung titignan mo dito, oh, pareho lang, speed is equal to distance over time. ba? And then, kung i-solve mo naman ay distance, takpan yung D. And then, ang matira ay S at saka T. Kapag magkatabi ang dalawang letters or letter and a number, i-multiply mo yan. ba? So, distance is equal to S times T. Yan. Yan, tignan mo dito, distance is equal to speed times time. Tama lang, di ba? And then, if ever, you're going to solve for the time, okay, takpan ng time, di ba? And then, natitira ngayon is D over S. So, ito na yung formula mo, T is equal to D over S. And kung titignan mo dito, you have time is equal to distance divided by speed. Okay, so, gamitin natin ito on our other um, computations, okay? Right, we have example number one. If a car travels 100 kilometers in two hours, find the average speed. Right, so, ang hinanap dito is average speed. So, paano natin isolve? Okay, gamitan natin ulit ang DST triangle. And since speed ang hinanap dito, cover natin ang S. Okay, so speed therefore is equal to D over T. Yan, ba? And then, palitan natin yung distance. The distance is 100 kilometers or just 100. And then, yung time is 2 hours. So, that would be 100 over 2. 
And then, 100 over 2 is just equal to 50. No, ngayon, ano ang unit na gagamitin natin? Since speed ang hinanap dito, so, hinanap kung gaano kabilis, ba? So, nakita mo na kilometers dito, hours dito. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating unit is kilometers per hours or kph. So, para alam or malaman kung paano or ano ang ilagay mo na unit, balikan dapat ang problem. Okay? Now, since speed ang pinag-uusapan, at alam na natin na ang speed um, is um, kilometer per hour, di ba? Ganun yung units niya. Pwede ring uh, meters per second. Okay? So, balikan mo yung problem. So, since ang ginamit dito is kilometers at saka hour, and for speed, you, that would be kilometers per hour. Right? So, final answer natin would be, okay, the average speed of the car is 50 kilometers per hour. Let's have example number two. A world record holder ran 800 meters in 86 seconds. What was his average speed rounded to the nearest tenth? So, ang hanap dito again is speed or average speed. So, gamit tayo ulit ng DST triangle. So, since speed ang hinanap, takpan natin ang S. So, natira ngayon is D over T. So, S, therefore, is equal to D over T. And again, check natin kung ano yung distance. Distance dito is 800 meters. Ayan siya, ba? And then, yung time natin is 86 seconds. So, that would be 800 over 86. And, okay, kung mahalata nyo, if you're going to divide this with 2, okay, you would have 400 over 43. If 43 is a prime number, so... Wala nang pwedeng i-divide, ba? So, 43 ang denominator. So, dapat ang sagot nito is a ah, non-terminating decimal. So, since non-terminating decimal, okay, ito yung lumabas na sagot. So, it's 9.30232 dot dot dot. So, and so on. And, ang sabi dito, round off mo to the nearest tenth kasi nga non-terminating ito. So, dito dapat i-round off ang sagot sa 10th tenth, place, ba? So, since ang katabi niya ay 0, so drop mo na lang lahat yan. Final answer natin is 9.3. And then, ang ating um, unit is meters per second. Kasi speed ang pinag-usapan. So, this is meters per second. So, final answer, the average speed is 9.3 meters per second. Next, example number three. Roy drives at an average of 45 miles per hour on a journey of 135 miles. How long does the journey take? So, ang hanap dito ngayon is time. Kasi kapag narinig nyo yung word na how long, that's time. How far, that's distance. And then, how fast, ayun na yung speed. Diba? So, since ang tanong dito is how long, ang hinanap dito is time. So, using the DST ulit, triangle, takpan natin ang time. Kasi time ang hinanap natin. So, takpan natin. So, time would be equal to D over S. So, you have there T equals D over S. And then, substitute natin ang value ng distance. The distance is 135 miles. ba? 135 miles. And then, the speed is 45. So, 135 divided by 45. So, ayan. Okay? And then, sagot natin dito is just 3. And since time ang pinag-uusapan, eh, the hours ang unit natin dito. Kasi, ito yung nandun sa speed, the hours. ba? So, time natin is 3 hours. So, final answer, the journey takes 3 hours. Example number 4. Okay, Vincent's motorcycle's average speed is 50 kilometers per hour. If he drives it for 4 and 1 half hours, how far does he travel? So, ang tanong ngayon is, how far? Gaano kalayo? Eh, di ibig sabihin, distance ang hinanap dito. ba? So, using, okay, DST triangle ulit, cover natin ang D. Kasi yun ang hinanap. So, D therefore is equal to S times T. Ayan. And then, S dito ay palitan natin ng 50 
kasi ito yung speed 50 kilometers daw bawat oras or 50 kph and then yung time natin is 4 and 1 half hours ayan okay now para mas mabilis ang computation pwede natin gawin yung 4 and 1 half as 4.5 so 50 times 4.5 and the answer would be 200 25. So, ano ngayon ang unit natin? O, balikan natin yung uh, problem. Okay. Ang, uh, ang units lang na nakita dito is hours. And then, yung kilometers per hour. So, since nabanggit yung kilometer, and then distance ito, edi 225 kilometers ang sagot natin. Okay. So, units, okay, ay hinahanap mo lang dito. Makikita mo kung ano kaya ang kailangan kong gamitin na unit. Alright. So, answer, Vincent can travel a distance of 225 kilometers. Example 5. Daniel can type 840 words in 20 minutes. Calculate his speed in A, words per minute, and then B, words per hour. Okay. So, ang hanap dito supposed to be, okay, is the words per minute. So, speed, di ba? Okay, and then kung nakita nyo, okay, we're not talking about the distance anymore, okay, words na ang pinag-usapan dito. So, pwede ba natin gamitin ang DST? Yes, pwede pa rin. So, imbes na distance, this will be words, okay, kasi hindi hinanap kung gaano kalayo, okay, ang hinanap dito is kung gaano karaming words. So, dito na yan, papalit yung words, okay. And then, since speed ang hinanap natin, takpan natin yung S, di ba? So, ang formula natin would be, S is equal to, so hindi na ito D, that would be words na, so words over time. Ayan, so, S is equal to words over time, and then ipalit natin yung number of words, that is 840 over 20, di ba? Ayan, so solving for that, you would have 42, ang ang unit naman natin dito is words per minute. Kasi minutes ang gamit eh. So, 42 words per minute. Now, ang hinanap sa letter B ay words per hour. Ang meron tayo dito is words per minute lang. E di ba 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes? E di multiply lang natin. Kasi kung 42 words yung isang minute, e di dalawang minuto, 84. Tatlong minuto. So, mag, magmumultiply ka lang. Eh, di ito, i-multiply na lang natin with 60 para makuha mo yung isang oras. So, speed in words per, per hour, that would be 42 times 60. And that is 2,520 words na ngayon per hour. Ayan. Okay? So, Daniel can type yan, Daniel can type 42 words per minute. So, bawat minute, 42. Pero bawat oras, that is 2,520 words. Alright? Now, ito po yung mga most common units used in speed, distance, and time. Okay? So, if it's miles and then the time is hours, ang speed is miles per hour. Abbreviation is miles per hour, MPH. Pwede na yun, okay? And then, if it's kilometers and then hours, ang speed niya is kilometers per hour. Ang abbreviation is kilometers slash hour. Pwede na yun. Or KPH, accepted din. And then, meters, seconds, okay? Sa speed, that would be meters per second. And then, ang abbreviation niya is M slash S meters per second, okay? Um, hindi accepted ang MPS, pero meron ng gumamit. So, unofficially, okay? So, unofficially, hindi pa official na pwedeng gamitin ang MPS. So, pinakamaganda gamitin is slash, uh, M slash S. Okay? And then, we have feet, seconds. And then, in speed, that would be feet per second. And then, accepted is FPS, accepted na. Uh, feet per second, ganito, pwede rin. Or, feet slash S. So, pareho dito. Gamit ka ng slash. Now, um, it's not advisable to always use this kasi meron ding ibang ginamit na unit ang um, FPS. Uh, that is frame per second. So, um, it is related to camera. So, um, mas magandang gamitin is ito. Okay? So, ito at saka ito. Right? Pero accepted na siya. 
And then centimeters, seconds, you have centimeters per second. And then cm slash second, pwede rin cm slash s. Alright? Well, let's have um, activity 1.1. This is actually uh, in your module, so sinama ko na lang din. Okay, so for activity 1.1, you have here, okay, crossword puzzle. Okay, so complete the crossword puzzle below. This is for the across, okay, na questions, and then the down. Then let's start with uh, number one. Okay, so down. So, it says here, scalar quantity that refers to how fast an object is moving. So, uh, tinakil na natin yung dati, scalar quantity and uh, how fast, gaano kabilis, di ba? Edi, that would be, ayan o, oh, may idea ka na ano yung sagot dyan. So, that is speed, di ba? Okay. Now, for number two, says here, measurable period during which an action process or condition exist or continuous. Ang isang action daw nag-continue at a certain period. So, ang pinag-usapan dito is, ayan o, oh, time. Ba? So, this is time, right? And then, for number three, down, down muna tayo, moving or capable of moving at high speed. So, high speed, mabilis, edi, fast lang yan. Diba? And then, number three, across, at, to, or by a great distance. Great distance. Uh, malayo. Edi kung ganon, edi far lang. And the number four, the total length between two positions. Ito yung sinabi ko kayo na two positions or two location. So, ang length niya, that is just the distance. Alright? Let's have activity 1.2. A dog runs from one side of the park to the other. The park is 80 meters across. The dog takes 16 seconds to cross the park. What is the speed of the dog? Ang hinanap dito is speed ng dog. Diba? So, speed, okay, kung naalala yung um, DST triangle, okay, eh, the speed is just D over T. And then, palitan natin yung distance ng 80 meters, diba? And then, yung time is 16 seconds. So, this is 80 over 16. And this is just 5. And since, okay, speed ang pinag-usapan dito at ang binigay dito is meters, seconds, eh, di 5 meters per second ang sagot natin. Alright? Now, activity 1.2. Number 2. A golf cart is driven at its top speed of 27 kilometers per hour for 10 minutes. In meters, how far did the golf cart travel? Okay, kung nahalata nyo, ang binigay na speed is kilometers per hour. Kaya lang, ang time is in minutes. Tapos, yung hinanap is in meters. E di ibig sabihin, ito dapat baguhin natin into meters. And then, minutes para magpareho na sila lahat. Meters and minutes, meters and minutes, ba? So, take note, 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, ba? And then, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, 27 kilometers is just equal to okay, 27,000. Ita times lang natin ang 1,000, ba? And then, again, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, yung original na speed na binigay, okay, is just 27,000 over 60 minutes. Kasi ito yung 1 hour, ba? So, 27,000 over 60. So, finally, our speed is 450. Ngayon, it's meters per minutes na. Ayan. So, pwede na siya sa meters. Tsaka yung binigay na time is minutes. ba? So, nagpareho na sila lahat. So, ngayon, hanapin na natin ang distance. Kasi ang tanong is how far. Distance ang hinanap dito. So, distance, which is in meters dapat, ba? So, distance, therefore, is equal to S times T. Okay? And then, palitan na natin ito with 450 times 10. So, ang 10 dito is the 10 minutes na binigay. So, finally, our distance is 4,500 and this time it is in meters. Alright? So, that will be all and thank you for watching.